Right now at 5.30, ghost guns and thousands of rounds of ammunition found inside a Long Island home. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. Welcome back. I'm Dick Brennan. Police say they discovered the cash in a dentist's house, and it's not the first time officers have been there. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports on what led police there today. Dr. Paul Carey's dental office is on the main floor of his Massapequa home. His medical staff called Nassau County Police for help. While he appeared to be agitated and, and intoxicated, he went upstairs and his secretary heard him racking a rifle, a shotgun. She immediately ran out of the house. She called 911. A SWAT team responded. Dr. Carey, it appeared, had barricaded himself inside. He was not new to authorities. They said they had arrested him multiple times in the past for menacing DWI, reckless endangerment, leaving the scene. I saw them carrying weapons out of the house. Dr. Carey surrendered, and police discovered a cache of weapons, including assault rifles, shotgun silencers, magazines, 3,000 rounds of ammunition, 18 ghost guns among them. Wouldn't make anybody nervous making ghost guns. He's buying pieces through the mail. He's putting them together and making these illegal ghost guns. He had a machine shop in his basement. Yeah, it'd be a better place without him. Neighbors are bitter. Prosecutors say Dr. Paul Carey's license to carry a pistol was revoked in 2016 when he was arrested for firing shots in his backyard. Frantic neighbors called police. We're happy that he's no longer a possible threat to our community because we're very close here. These ghost guns without serial numbers scares me. The number has increased exponentially in the last couple of months of how many we are taking off the street. Dr. Carey's website says he has a whole host of happy patients. He's a graduate of NYU Dental School. His attorney says he is withholding comment at this time. Dr. Carey was hoping to post the $100,000 bond and get out of jail. From Massapequa, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Police say Dr. Carey's wife convinced him to come out of the house and surrender to authorities. Detectives also say that many of the illegal guns discovered inside the home were loaded. 